Good morning. I just want to tell you this morning that you are loved. Um, in John 3.16, it says, For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth on Him should not perish but have everlasting life. You are loved. It said, God so loved the world. God so loved His creation. He so loved it. That he was willing to pay a great price. He was willing to pay the price of his son. Someone that is invaluable. Someone that, that a price can't be put on their head. All that whosoever would believe. Anyone. Anyone. You are a whosoever. I'm a whosoever. Anyone in this world is a whosoever would believe on him. Should not perish. But have everlasting life. It is our choice. It is not something that is for, forced on us. It's not something that we're made to do. But but I want you to know something. With that love, that is not just a love. That is a self-sacrificing love. That is a love that, that is willing to lay down his life. That is a love that is willing to do so much more than, than just say words. This is a love that, that he will show. Is a, It is show love. And he shows that love by dying on the cross for us. He shows that love by taking our place, taking our sin dead. I want to read in uh, John chapter 14, verse 13. It says that, uh, Greater love hath no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. And that's exactly what he did. There, there is no greater love than a self-sacrificing love. There is no greater love than a man give everything for his friends. A man to give everything. But you know, Jesus went a step further than that. You know, while we didn't like him, and while I hated him, and while I cursed him, and, and while those that plucked his beard and beat him, and put the thorns on his head, and those that crucified him, those that hated him, he done it for them. He loved them. He loved them. Not because they loved him, but because he loved his creation so much that he didn't want any to perish, that he wants all to come to, to salvation. I want you to know that you are loved today. You don't have to buy this love. You don't have to trade for this love. You don't have to give anything for this love that God has. It is free and all you have to do is accept it. Jesus, please forgive me of my sins and come into my heart. And you've accepted that love into your life. But I want you to know that, that He loves you today. So you, you hang your head up. You don't hang your head low. You hold your head up that you are loved. You are cherished. You are valued. And someone cares deeply about you. It says in the word that, that before I was even in my mother's womb, he knew me. How, how precious is that, that? That before I was even thought about, God already had a plan for me. He already knew me. He already knew you. He already knew what you would go through. And he loves you. So be encouraged today. Jesus loves you. I love you. Have a great day.